Hey everyone, it's Mr. Mathwell here. And today I got a special song for you. That's right, a song. Uh, at times, I get a little creative and I write math and science songs. And today I'm going to share you, with you one of the songs that I wrote. I mean, this one, is, I mean, this is a near and dear song to my heart. I wrote this three minutes ago. And I'm probably going to actually just make it up as I go along. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, it is Jersey Day today. Um, it's actually uh, all out for Christmas Day, and I've got green pants on. Is it that? Green pants. And I've got uh, an old hockey jersey of mine. Yeah, I was a hockey player. Probably able to tell. That's a fake tooth right there. That's right. It doesn't look the same color as the rest of them, right? That's right, because I'm a hockey player, and hockey players are not supposed to have all their teeth. Anyways, now I'm a math teacher. <clears throat> Way more exciting. <laughs> Just kidding. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, this song is called. Are you ready for it? Point slope form. That's right. And if you're studying math 10, chapter 6. Forms of a line, this will make a lot of sense. It goes like this Point, slope, form is the form of a line we're gonna study today. Point, slope, form, oh yeah. What's point, slope, form, you ask? If you're given the slope of a line, and you're also given a point. You can write an equation for that line. This is how you do it. Point slope form. You go y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I say y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. Clap along if you want. And throw your fist in the air and say, Point, slope, form. Point, slope, form. Point, slope, form is the form of a line that we're studying today. Y minus Y1. You got it. Equals M times X minus X1. Y minus Y1 equals M. Times X minus X1. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. God bless. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. I know that's probably really improved your life. And uh, you're welcome.